Daniel Quiet. Only 19 years old, but from 2014, he'll be a Formula One driver for Scuderia Toro Rosso. Uh, well, I started uh, with Russian karting and then, uh, and then I carried on uh, with uh, international karting. Then uh, I signed a contract with the Red Bull Junior team and uh, it was going really well since then. It was, I would say, the highlight of my career so far. When you have a, a backup from Red Bull, it means really a lot and you just have to deliver. And that's what he's doing. Daniel Kwiat, the racer, a facet of his personality. 2013, Kwiat drives in GP3 and Formula 3. In both series, he wins. Like here, for example, in Zonfort, the Netherlands. Fallalonga next to Roma one week ago. Formula 3 is a guest in Italy. In the second of three races, Daniel moves to third place. Parallels to Formula 1, some. Some drivers are quite similar, so some drivers are ready to go to Formula 1, so I wouldn't say it's too much different. Sometimes they're the same tracks also, so no, I think it's getting ready for Formula 1 here, and uh, it's, it's a really nice, uh, nice school. And, uh, but yeah, you're right, it's not Formula 1, of course, it's Formula 3. <laughs> Another strength of Daniel Kvyat, his perception. The young Russian from Ufa senses his opponents, even if he doesn't see them. Despite his youth, Daniel Kvyat has a lot of sense and has a good race overview. Only one reason for his promotion to Toro Rosso. From all the juniors, which uh, were in the frame for a Formula One seat, through his performance, he was a natural candidate, being fast, being mature. So, in the medium terms, he offers the best pers perspectives. Daniel Kwiat, unpretentious. There are racers who seek the limelight, there are racers who enjoy to bathe in the crowd. And Daniel Kvyat, outside the cockpit, almost shy and unassuming. And rather more convincing with his performance on the track. Autograph sessions are more duty than pleasure. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> it's a bit, uh, not enough space here, first of all, and then there's just too much people around, and it just makes me a bit uh, lost. But yeah, I'm okay with it, so it's not a big problem for me. But in Formula One, he'll get used to it.